Just a regular old defect run. Two elites. Okay. Lose all gold for a rare relic, huh? I can get behind it. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not a relic. Unless it gets used. But not bad. Damage. Hmm. Streamline's fine. I like chill though. A lot of these hallway fights later on and such. Swarm of slimes, gremlin gang. You know, on a lose all gold start, tend to like to try to take as many fights and fires as possible. Just avoid shops and events. And then because we're taking a lot of fights, we're gonna be going toward late hallway fights, which means now, maybe it was better to strike this guy. But, um, yeah, since we're going to late hallway fights, that is why I think I like the chill. And also, perhaps that for the AoE fights and such. Because you're going toward late hallway fights, you're going to fight Swarm of Slime, Scrimlin Gang, three louses. So. Sweep and Beam is a... It's a funny card, because I recall it being one of the most skipped cards for the defect across all ascension levels. There was some data pull from forever ago, at least a year ago, that showed that. And coincidentally, defect has a higher death rate across all ascension levels than the other characters, too. Swarm of Slimes, Gremlin Gang, and Three Louses. I wonder if that's just coincidence. Not just coincidence. Sheep and wolves. <laughs> In this world, there's sheep and wolves. I hate getting dropped a potion when we didn't need to use these, but... Um, Recycle's an amazing card, but it's probably too early for it. Maybe not, though. Like, charge battery's fine. Trash batteries totally okay. I love recycle though, but it might be too early. But it helps manage slimes. I don't know. It depends on how scared we are of Gremlin Knob. We have a lizard tail. Good enough for me. Do we just leave Speed Potion behind? Sneko Oil can pull a rabbit out of a hat. I think I trust. Plated potion more than speed potion? No, I don't. I do not. I do not. Yeah, recycle doesn't do a lot right now. But we just hope that we don't die for drafting something like that. And... Oh, it was pointless to play that defend. That's okay. We're pretty much untouchable with... You know, our current setup here, so... Refrost orbs with the defrag coming. Another potion, so our chance of getting drop potions in future acts falls quite a bit. Or not future acts, uh, future fights in this act 
You know, so we spend this in the elite fight or whatever. Now our chance of being dropped potion is only 10%. Barrage with the strength potion and with the chill. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I mean, maybe. Okay, I'll give Barrage a try. I'm not a big fan of Barrage because in my experience most of the time it's just doing less damage than a strike. Take eight damage. Y'all know I love that card. Sunder hits mad hard. Upgrade Sunder up there. It's a good card. Plays all right with Sneko Oil in the meantime. Recycle it. Get a bunch of energy. I love Chaos though. Good turn one. Let's see if we can't kill him next turn. Of course we kill him next turn. Garia. See if that comes up. Such a good relic. Yeah, I love Compile Driver. Hard draw is so good with Recycle and such, but I can't sit here and act like I'm not going to take Electrodynamics. Won't even feel the max HP loss. You never upgrade Electro, because if you get Nuclear Battery offered to you as a boss relic, that third lightning will evoke your Nuclear Battery Plasma. Draw Sunder. Okay. Maybe you're supposed to rip Sneka Oil there. Oh, you know what? We have Electrodynamics. Does that mean you're supposed to take this damage right now? Or play Defend. I'm gonna count on, like, recycling Sunder, playing Electro, playing Dual Cast, some turn like that. Okay. Good fight. Toy Ornithopter. Ancient Potion. Ball Lightning. For the Electrodynamics. Ball Lightning because it's an amazing early damage card. Ball Lightning for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons, Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning, a lot of reasons. So that's 10 on Evoke. I like this upgrade a lot. Zap is also pretty relevant. So is Dual Cast. I think for Barrage, Zap kind of makes a little more sense. Like, Barrage and Electrodynamics, Zap Upgrade supports both. Um, we can recycle Sunder, get a burst of energy in any case. I love Recycle Upgrade, though. I'm going to just rock the Zap for now. This could be a Snuckle Oil. Really. 
if we want to. I find it hard to believe you're not supposed to play Electro here. I hate not playing Sunder. So that's why I feel like it could be a Snackle Oil. Sure. We got Ornithopter anyway. Bonk. So that's 15. The effect is funny, because the character has some poor sources of AoE, or at least scarce sources of AoE. Like you got Doom and Gloom, which is premium, okay? Then you got Sweeping Beam, which you know, got the job done for us. And then you got Blizzard, which is situational. Then you got Hyper Beam, which is a rare. And it causes you to lose focus. Then you got Electrodynamics, which is another rare. And is also premium. And that's it. That's your AoE. And, uh... Yeah, so getting Electrodynamics... Electro is a very, very... Run-warping card. Because all of a sudden, fights like Slavers and Gremlin Leader and Slime Boss and... Late Hallway Fights, Sentries, all of that becomes a lot more trivial. So, I mean, we have Recycle... So it's not the worst meteor strike in the world. There's also multicast, um, which is not really doing anything. No more than dual cast is right now. We don't have like a dark orb. Maybe it's not that hard to get a dark orb. Artifact potion to stop the focus down from hyper beam. I like the meteor strike in a weird way. It's just gonna not really be purposeful. Like we can recycle it. And that's about all it's got going for it. Maybe we could play it if we recycle Sunder. Um, like it could be fun, but I'm just not convinced. I haven't played Defect in a minute. Should have done it. Should have done it. Sozo with Ornithopter is awful. I guess yeah, Sneko Eye is a thing. Recycle is pretty good with Sneko Eye in any case. But I hate how we upgraded Zap. It probably is just Sneko Eye. Curse of the Bell, I'm really not a fan of, but... I mean, we got Bag of Prep and we can recycle the curse if we want, so it's not the worst Bell Curse in the world. And three relics... Three relics is three relics. I'm just not really sold on Sozu with the Ornithopter. I don't really feel like taking Sneko Eye. So I'm kind of, I kind of feel inclined to skip it. We also have Bag of Prep. But maybe, I don't know, does Sneko Eye become better or worse with Bag of Prep? Hard to say. Happy Flower, Toxic Egg, Bird Urn. Not bad. Not bad. And we have money. I would be wary of trying to take too many elites and this act with defect. You could get yourself into some trouble. The character is not exactly known for his ability to tackle act two very proficiently, but there is an electrodynamics and a sunder and a bag of prep and a sweeping beam and a chill. So maybe you could do that, you know, maybe, and try to go after three elites and super elite, like it's just some ideas. I think I like a fire before an elite. There's also that. For three elites in the shop up there. Something like that. I'm really not trying to get myself in some trouble. Like, I'm not trying to fight two elites or three elites with 300 gold in our pocket. I want to spend money up here. Urn is huge. Even though we only have... Oh, we have two powers. Urn is going to be huge. Yeah, no doubt in my mind about that. This is, of course, the issue with 
having an unremovable curse. We're entitled to tick up our happy flower, and we are entitled to get our bird urn heal. Yeah. I don't even think we need that. If we got urn and ornithopter, leap plus. I'm gonna try to be careful about the me get toxic egg, me pick cards sort of a syndrome. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. Oh. Upgrade two random cards. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. It's probably worth paying 35 gold to upgrade a random card, right? <laughs> Unless it's Electro. That would be bad. So then we have the choice of remove a card, of which we've done none. Or upgrade two random cards. Which we're looking for recycle and dual cast there. Probably just remove. Seven block. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was better to play defend there. For some reason, I wasn't sure if we could get rid of this guy on the next turn. A little bit of quick map could have probably figured that out for me. Hmm. Yeah, I want to go to a shop. There's a toolbox. So Doom and Gloom. There's also a Deep Breath Plus. Deep Breath Plus is a really nice card. Especially with stuff like Recycle. I like that Deep Breath Plus. It's very interesting. I like the Doom and Gloom. This is... The champ, right? Yeah, so having a Dark Orb is a pretty good idea. There's also a Hello World here. And I am a fan of Hello World. When it's all said and done, I do think that's a nice card. Doom and Gloom remove Deep Breath. That's a strange turn. But Deep Breath Plus is legit. Like, that card is nice. It really is. Having the ability to channel a Dark Orb is cool, but the AoE means less since we have Electro. And Sunder is kind of AoE in its own respect. I think it is important to remove... But maybe Toolbox is better. Like, maybe Toolbox provides a win condition in some cases. Yeah, we have Recycle anyway. I value Toolbox over Remove at this point in the run. Panage for the Bird Urn? Okay. Destroyed. See if we can't end the fight with Happy Flower on two. To synergize with our big hand from Bag of Prep. Strength Potion's nice. Don't think we need any of those at the moment. And that was a shrine. Our last event. So that means that this has a really high chance of being a combat. Probably going to be Recycle, but it could be Dual Cast, too. I think I'll start with Recycle. Shop. Ooh, Hologram Plus on sale? I like that, yeah. Hologram back the Deep Breath, Hologram back Recycle, Hologram back Zap and Dual Cast in some cases, and also it makes us feel like we didn't just lose the floor <laughs> in a certain sense, you know? It's a pretty 
standard defect run, I think. I have no idea how this is supposed to beat champ, but we'll see. Artifact potion with the panic button? Transmute for the recycle? I want to take transmute. But discovery's nice, man. Take discovery. Claw? <laughs> consume? I don't know about consume. It's gonna cost zero at least. Get more value from evoking our orbs for the most part anyway. Because we're playing the lightning stuff. Discovery would be a great card right now. Alright, hopefully we can recycle the consume. Try to save some life. I don't know, probably take strength potion. Jeez. Need draw. Let me get some card draw. All right, guess it was better to consume first, huh? I don't even know if I want to consume, though. Barrage is gonna feel really upset. Destroyed. I each has dupe potion. Whoa, good cards here. Equilibrium plus is insane. Retaining your hand is really powerful. Overfission plus? Yeah, overfission plus, Tricky. You have no orb generation anyway. You have, you know, you're just gonna fission plus and then draw dual cast and curse of the bell and have no orbs out, draw barrage with no orbs out, Tricky. Equilibrium plus is really powerful. And so is regular equilibrium. I don't know about that though. Tiny chest also. <laughs> I mean, with dupe potion, artifact potion, and a lizard tail and a ornithopter, we could take on the super elite. Probably got nothing better to do. I'm gonna go on a limb and say we can key. Regal Pillow, we got Urn, Ornithopter, and Lizard Tail. Well, you could take Pillow and then go this way. You probably never die, but then I don't know how you're supposed to beat Champ. I'm not so sure we even want to go to that shop. Maybe artifact potion for the vulnerable from this guy. Shout out to Ornithopter.
I guess I should have just sundered that guy. But now we'll just go ahead and lose it. Lose the sunder, that's fine. Rail wore off. Slim up the deck. The madness from the toolbox. That's probably how we're gonna have to beat champ is from some kind of cheap, cheesy little trick like that. Oh, it was better to hold the recycle, huh? I forgot we were retaining our hand. But notice how it didn't matter too much. FTL is fine. Charge battery is also okay. It's also okay at this point. Not in love with it. Not in love with Tempest either. Tempest Plus. I mean... We're gonna lose Lizard Tail here. We just need to kind of wrap our head around that. Like, yeah, Lizard Tail's going away. Not showing up here and resting because we keyed Regal Pillow. So I'm gonna go for the Elite. Oh dear. Ooh, I want that. And I want this too. Yeah. Um, should we, like, try to find that? I don't know. We have a defrag and an electrodynamics. Like, that's a way we could beat champ. By scaling up reprogram, that's for sure. I don't remember the ones that we haven't clicked yet, but stuff like this we haven't clicked yet, right? <gasps> okay, we'll try it. But that might not even be good. <laughs> that might not even be good, but we'll try it. I feel like with recycle, we can always lose it if we don't want it. Dramatic entrance. I don't know if we really... I mean, we could take Hand of Greed and maybe show up at the shop. Try to Hand of Greed on Gremlin later. I want to save Dupe Potion for Champ. That's the thing. So if we could get away with not using Dupe Potion, that would be fantastic. Defragment chill equilibrium. That keeps us alive, right? I like cutting it close. Draw Electro. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Gotta get rid of Fat Gremlin. <laughs> the reprogram. Thank you. 
Jeez, Gremlin Leader. You serious, Gremlin Leader? <laughs> All right. I don't even. I mean, I must have just played that fight absolutely miserably. Oh, wow. Like really? I don't even know what where I went wrong. I guess it was reprogram, right? There's literally nothing to do here. <laughs> Let me try that again. Cause yeah. I don't know, it just feels like defect. Elite fights in Act 2, especially Super Elite Fight, and especially Gremlin Leader. Like specifically Gremlin Leader. Okay, Hand Agree was terrible. Hand Agree was a terrible pick. Enlightenment, I mean, with the knowledge that we're going to draw it with Equilibrium, we could imagine the game not really being nice enough to let us see Sunder and Electrodynamics uh, within the first two turns. I mean, I'll take Dramatic Entrance, but... Two potion. I should have not been greedy. I wish I had anything to say. I wish I had a word to say about this. But I don't. <laughs> like. Yikes, man. I mean, maybe there was some way to play that right, but... At like half HP and have a lizard tail? Act 2 elites with defect are... You know, you don't have to try to be Superman with defect in Act 2. Because stuff like that could just happen. Remember, kids, it's always the game's fault. It's always the AI's fault. It's never your fault. You never do anything wrong. Damage for gold? Ooh. Early shot. We could try. Three elites. Like that, with the fire there. Yeah. Yeah, because we're taking damage. But it's 250 gold. Damage for the three elites. For the sake of three elites. Okay. Pocket Watch is really, really good. Ball Lightning. It's also really, really good. It's also a Gen Alg here. There's also Strange Spoon Gen Alg. Spoon Alg. <laughs> it's also Bandage Up. Spoon Alg Bandage Up. Can we even afford all that? I don't know, but I'm doing Spoon Alg. That's hilarious. On floor two. Spoon bandage up. <laughs> oh, jeez. What am I about to get myself into right now? There's also a blightning and a card remove. I think I want to do blightning card remove. 
Spoon is so bad for slime boss slimes, but Spoon bandage up is pretty funny. Just purchase bandage up. <gasps> Blightning is blightning. All right, here it goes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Should have got bandage up. Gotta be careful not to kill him too soon. Oh no, we're gonna kill him, aren't we? I don't want him to die. There's no way. I'm not trying to take 11 damage just to... Chill with the spoon? Spoon chill? Cold snap is fine. Snacker oil with the sunder? That's an idea. Yeah, get your one damage. Haha! <laughs> To draw three cards. I think I want to draw three cards. Compile driver is good too. Kind of plays with the flex potion a little bit. We also have cold snap. It's a good attack card. But I do like to draw three. That's the only thing. I think I want to draw three. Rebound Genalg with the spoon. Maybe Compile was a lot better. I hate Spoon. Missing Reshuffle. I almost want Flex Potion 2 Strikes. On this guy. I don't even know if we're going to be able to take this other elite. Since we got the event that made us take damage. And we took damage as a starting bonus. And we're going to take more damage as this fight progresses. Snuckle oil, which is pretty good for this fight. I just hope we get to see Janelle again. Let me see Janelle. Strawberry. Hyper Beam? No, we got Ball Lightning and Cold Snap. Ugh. Rip and Tear Flex Potion. Not the worst. Not the worst. I think I'll pass for now. Jeez. Jeez.
So now we can't take any damage against this guy. Aggregate? I like the idea there, but... A little too soon. Yeah, no tiny chests. We can't fight that elite. Okay. So be it. I want to fight an elite now. Upgrade Gen Alg up here. Gen Alg shouldn't need an upgrade though. Streamline and cold snap on the bottom. Later. Vajra fire potion. Cool headed. Ugh. I don't know about these. Maybe you're supposed to take another ball lightning. I wouldn't be surprised. But I want to stall fights a little bit. <laughs> In the name of... Alg. Just for... Output sake. I do want to draw three. Yeah. Hologram, Janelle, hologram back, Janelle. I want to draw three cards. I do want to draw three, because then we can cycle streamline more, cycle zap more, cycle Janelle faster. Then we get like a turbo or something. Then we are moving. Not super interested in liquid bronze. I don't think I want Sunder at this point. I think I want dual cast upgrade. Glacier. A little bit pricey. A little bit too costy. But it's still really good. It's not worth playing these because Spoon exists.
Gen Elk. Jeez. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I don't think that was right, but that's okay. Spoon fission? Is that good? Probably, right? On average. Spoon Reboot. Reboot only draws four cards. I could see Spoon Vision maybe working out. Astrolabe, sure. Why not? Anything should be better than Strike and Defend. <laughs> Remove Defense because of this. Got Vajra. Strikes are a little bit better. They feel a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Just nasty, man. Just nasty. And we're rich. I'm about to go ice four elites right now. <laughs> no way, no, 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 no. Played a little bit more conservatively tricky. Be careful, dude. Nah, never. <laughs> I think we're pretty powerful right now. Spoon Alg, two copies of I Wanna Draw Three Cards with the Zap Plus, Dual Cast Plus, Bias Cog Plus. And recycle plus. It would be a shame if we die before getting to that shop with all our money. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I feel good. I feel strong. No orbs out with the bias cog. Couple potions later, we'll be fine. Spoon Ritual Dagger. I'm a fan of Ritual Dagger. We can access it pretty easily. It's good front loaded damage. Maybe upgrade vision. No, dude, come on. <laughs> Card draw. Yeah, I think it's probably cool headed. The cool head is gonna need an upgrade. That's the only issue. But it helps fission out and we can recycle it if we don't like it. Helps buy his cog. I 
Almost want to remove defend. Answers elegance, of course. Potion, please. Looking for Zap there. Pair, Speed Potion, Electro. Yeah, I guess so. It's really hard for me to sit here and turn down Electro. We can vision the orbs. We got Bias Gog, and we got, you know, there's going to be Gremlin Leader or Slavers, and there's four leads. Okay. Sure. I should have tried to spoon the cultist, oh well. Spoon white noise? <laughs> Equilibrium's really powerful. Yeah. It is, trust me. Virtual dagger's getting up there. We could just draw Electro next turn. I'm kind of counting on drawing either Recycle or Fission or Zap. I play an Electro and then I want to draw three. Gremlin leader, dude, I swear. Yeah, like if Gremlin leader attacks there, then we're just dead. You know, that's the crazy thing about it. Because all this stuff is at the bottom. So 
hard fight to navigate for this character. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Not not even gonna think about it. I'm tilted. Sundial. Oh no, dude. Sundial. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I wanna live. Yes. Don't kill me, don't kill me. You're gonna kill me. Oh no. Speed pot equilibrium. I mean, all of these had to be down here. Is what I'm saying. You know, all of those had to be down there. Entangled, that's the only thing. Like, I want to play Fission to tick up Sundial, but we're entangled. Blood Vial, okay. Strange Moon Jack of all trades. <laughs> Thinking ahead's probably pretty good here. Stuff like Sundial and I mean, it's probably just by Lizard Tail, just to. Not that it worked out great for us last time, but, you know. Um, this time is going to be a little different, because there's a clear cut wind condition here, and it's Sundial. Draw three, draw three, spam Gen Elg. So I kind of want to just buy it. And then probably take a remove. The Strange Spoon Jack is pretty funny. I shouldn't have done that first. Oh well. Tick up Sundial one more. Try to kill him this rotation. Mango. Yeah. Not interested in any of those. <laughs> you serious? We have nothing. Like, we have one strike. Yeah, no. Leave. I always get a feeling that that event's gonna show up whenever I get Blood Vial in mid act two. So, there's a couple ideas here. There's this, which is gonna get value so long as it, you know, stays around. There's also this, which is a lot of cards. I think I do wanna draw four. There's also this. 
which matters. And then there's that, which at this point probably isn't going to be felt all that much. Same with that. So I think it's probably just cool headed for now. There's definitely a clear way to win this fight and it's to abuse Sundial and to spam Zap over and over again and cycle our copies of... I want to draw three cards. And recycle the rest of the deck away. Or just cycle that streamline. <laughs> Alright, so now that's gone. Don't give a man a sundial. You know what's gonna happen when you give a man a sundial. Oh, I just noticed we're running low on energy. There we go. Spoon core surge. It's core surge for the bias cog at the very least. I like it. Explosive potion over these. Depends on how concerned we are about Reptomancer. Reptomancer daggers. Got Electro. Reptomancer daggers are real though. They are real. I don't know if weak potion is really going to be felt more than that. Yes. Slug. Let me add him. Let me add him. That key tiny chest. Why would I do that? Focus potion is nice. Turbo. Turbo for the recycle. Yeah, it's possible. The thing is that, like you saw, we have Sundial, so we really don't need to use stuff like Turbo. Um, we could. We could take it. I don't know. Like, we got Fission for energy generation, and we got Sundial for energy generation, so I'm not really sold on it right now. What's the deal? We could part with the cold snap. We have that cool headed. Um, yeah, I think I want prep bag. Abacus absolutely works here. Abacus, Sundial. Play your copies of I Want to Draw Three Cards over and over and over and over again. Yeah, that works. Um, you know that 
generates a stupid amount of energy. Like, I really think that in circumstances like this, what matters most is that you just get your cycle going. You know, you get your function. You get going. And I think Bag of Prep helps more with that. Yeah, because you're able to generate infinite block and infinite damage with this sundial and with these draw cards, as is, and with the cool headed. You really just shouldn't need Abacus for a block. Yeah, we could say goodbye to Streamline. Jujutsu Bracelet, alright. I hate, um, that I pathed that way though. I should have gone this way. <laughs> I just clicked too fast, I wasn't thinking about it. Now we can't do anything at this shop. Not that I wanted to do anything here anyway. That could be a scaling damage solution for the slug. Yeah, see that's why I bought Bag of Prep because there was less chance that we would have a hand like this, basically. I don't really care about Ritual Dagger at this point. Rock Sundial. We do have a lizard tail. Okay. So here's a question for you. How much are we going to be inconvenienced by these burns? Because if the answer is a lot, then we can do this. Damage by damage 50 times and kill Nemesis that way. We can do that. I hate Nemesis. But do I hate him that much? I don't hate the viewers enough. Do it that way. Giria, Hourglass. Alright. That was the mistake in the last run, was not using Giria, right? Recall? I want to draw four cards. Sorry. 
Sorry, Ritual Dagger. You have my respect. We nurtured you. Yeah, I'd like to see my draw cards, please. Any of the four of them would be nice. Reptomancer. Yeah, like, what do you need Abacus? What you need Abacus for here? Like, you'll be blocking. Sundial on two. Marble's ice cream. Jeez. Reinforced. Possible. If you want, you could take reinforced. Shouldn't be needed. Should not be needed. <laughs> Jeez. No. How many times do I have to say no? Wait, wait. Wait, why did you... Uh, at, at... At 3921, why did you skip Mummify Hand? Isn't it, isn't it just good? Isn't it just a, a good relic? Wait. Why did he, why did he skip that relic? It's like whispering to the person next to you in class what the professor is talking about. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Did vision get exhausted? Okay. We got ice cream, we got backup prep. That's the perks of Black Star. Black Star says, I want to try to look for ice cream at Bag of Prep, but we bought Bag of Prep, but still, you know what I mean. Yes, I'm not getting enough spoon here. Not getting enough spoon alg action right now. Early game, it was kind of popping off. Now it's a little bit tired. But yeah, if you didn't have Sundial here, you could take Turbo. It got offered a Turbo on like the first floor of this act. You could take a Turbo and you'd be doing the same thing. Just recycle the Void. Toxic category, Calcum. Don't think we need Compile at this point. Honestly, you could leave here. I can't stress that enough. Leaving could very well just be the better choice. I want to fight, though. This could have been huge if it was three. <laughs> and if, uh... There were a couple times Act 1 where I messed up and got too aggressive in the hallway fights. Like, you could leave, but I'm gonna fight. This is why you'd leave, is because you would draw a hand like this. Yeah. But we'll be okay. But... Leaving isn't crazy. And we have Lizard Tail.
Hey, let's get that double ritual dagger. Let's get that double ritual dagger on him. Sundial on one, not ideal, but it's okay. Tungsten rod, hello. Don't want anything to do with those. And let's get recall out of the way. Not super interested in going to a shop. Sensory stone, toxic egg, sensory stone, toxic egg, winding halls. Think that going to that event seems like a stellar idea. Tick up sundial. Tick it up too. Speed potion, reinforced body plus. With the ice cream and the recycle, you could recycle reinforced body, get a bunch of energy. Not that that's anything we need to do. Fire spirits. Could give him Electro. Electro's not really doing all that much anymore. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Heal to full. <laughs> and gain 10 max HP. Be at 105 HP showing up at that fire. Do we have anything that heals us other than Blood Vial and Lizard Tail? Like, is there any reason... We shouldn't toss Electro to the Fire Spirits. We could give him Fission, but I like what Fission's doing and it's card draw. You know what? Let's give him Gen Elg. Yeah. <gasps> Upgrade Ritual Dagger. <laughs> Upgrade Gen Elg. <laughs> Fission's possible. I think I do want to draw four. Again. Still. This is a funny run. <laughs> Straight up just showing up and being like, yeah. <laughs> okay, floor two shop, Gen Alex Spoon. <laughs> Alright. Just use the bathroom. And... Ready, set, go. Oh. I want to play the game. Yes. Equilibrium destroys this fight. I think I want to recycle like anything. I got an idea. really need charge the idea was to get multiple equilibrium stacks to retain our hand for multiple turns 
and then recycle equilibrium. I don't know if we're really going to be playing Ball Lightning. Not going to rule it out, but... Under 5 max HP with the Tungsten Rod is going to be hard to kill us. Your turn. My bad. Some dial on too. The Time Eater is a hard counter to slay the Spire Infinite decks. Two more artifact just in case. Rest in peace to electrodynamics. Is this secretly Defect's best card? It's not a secret. Recycle's always been Defect's best card. It's a secret to some people. Deck is speedy. Speed potion with the core surge <laughs> if it gets spooned. Hmm. What am I even looking at this for? like stone there's also the turbo plus yeah it's also shackles plus there's also a thunder strike which could do a lot of damage right now 
you know, if that's something we're concerned about. There's also a fruit juice here. Another cool headed. So there's a ton of ways you could go here. I'm almost leaning on the side of just removing strike. We have focus pot. You know, like. Thunderstrike. Notice how I said that Blizzard would have been an okay scaling solution for Time Eater. And the same thing kind of goes with Thunderstrike. Also, notice how we didn't take a point of damage against Time Eater. And this deck has no scaling damage solution. Right? So. I mean, Turbo with the recycle and the ice cream and the master of strategy with the strange spoon. There's some cool stuff you could do with spoon on this character. With like all for one back, a master of strategy. All for one back, seeks. All for one back, um, you know. Bandage up. <laughs> Shackles. You could do something like buy one of those if you want. I feel fine, but you know, you could buy cool headed. Yeah, why not? I see. You can try to stop him. Vision was a nice call on my part. Good job, me. Um, Sundial. Is a different game. Have you ever seen me skip Sundial, which I have done in a number of videos on this channel, this is pretty much the reason why I do so. Four energy a turn on average. And it's just gonna go up. Gremlin horn. Dater disc. Hyper beam. There's no need to even do that. We have ice cream.
I was trying not to take any damage. So now we get to keep our five dexterity for this fight due to the dexterity down being removed via core surge. And the run's over. <laughs> Recycle keeps on showing up at the bottom. It's kind of cute. How they think they could stop him, right? So something like this. That's infinite energy. Let me explain some about Sundial, all right? Because I kind of went through this whole run just playing through it. I think I've explained this in a run before. Maybe I really haven't. Maybe it was forever ago. So this is how this relic works, all right? Every three times you shuffle your draw pile. Gain two energy. So. Um... So we shuffle the draw pile one time there. All right, let's start with it on two. Now nah, let's start with it on. How do I explain this the best? Hmm. Okay. So if we shuffle the draw pile one more time, Sundial's number will tick to zero and we'll gain two energy, right? The thing is that we only have one card in our discard pile right now. None in our draw pile. So what happens if we play Cool Headed Plus? It's gonna draw one card. It's gonna shuffle the draw pile one time, discard pile into the draw pile. The thing is that... Cool Headed Plus is trying to draw two cards. So it actually goes up to one. It goes zero, one. So if we play this Cool Headed, because you know we have two Cool Headeds that we're just cycling back and forth here. What happens if we play this Cool Headed? Is it going to tick to two? It ticks up to three, and then you get the energy again. So this is actually... Um... One... Two, three... One, two... Three, one... Two, three, one, two, three, one. You see what's going on there? The reason why is because Cool Headed is trying to draw another card, and there is no other card to draw. So Cool Headed is treating your attempt to reshuffle your draw pile again as another shuffle. Because Cool Headed's trying to draw another card, but there isn't another card. The thing is, so what happens when you play this? When you want to draw four cards? It actually behaves exactly the same way as this Cool Headed Plus, even though this is only drawn two and this is trying to draw four. The reason why is because it only tries to draw extra cards one more time. It doesn't go, oh, okay, you draw your one card down here, and then you're trying to draw three more, so let's tick up Sundial three times. It doesn't behave that way. It just checks one time to see your attempt to reshuffle the draw pile one time and that the attempt is kind of like it's successful but it you know it's unsuccessful because there's nothing else to shuffle in there so it's not going to this doesn't proc sundial multiple times um any more than two times the same as this cool headed you know now if you play something like an unupgraded cool headed is only drawn one card or sweeping beam is only drawn one card um then it you know it's gonna behave how you would expect it to behave but this is why pommel strike plus and shrug it off is a sundial infinite okay that's like the classic infinite so yeah there is some sundial 
lore for you, some tricks for you, and something you could do if you're bored. With all this energy, you could stack equilibriums here. So now for three turns, we are retaining our hand. For four turns, we are retaining our hand. And um, yeah, then next time we see it, you could just exhaust it if you felt so inclined. Because we are retaining our hand for the next three turns. Seven energy, eight energy, eight energy, seven energy, nine energy. So it's an energy positive infinite to play two one cost cards that are drawing two cards each when you have no draw pile, when you have a sundial. And all the stuff I just told you about sundial behaves exactly the same way with abacus. The abacus. So. Like, for example, if you have a deck that is three cards and you have an Abacus and you're supposed to draw five cards at the start of combat, well, Abacus will proc twice at the start of combat. Because it's trying to draw, you know, your fourth and your fifth cards. But if you have a one card deck, two card deck, three card deck, Abacus is gonna proc twice, no more. It checks that one time. It'll give you the double, the double proc, the double tick. Um, but it won't give you more than a double tick. I hope that makes sense. Drew this fight out a little bit longer to make that point, but I think it's probably worth it. So I don't look like some clown just slinging around cards. Well, I'm still gonna look like some clown slinging around cards, but now you can understand a little more intention behind it. That was a fun run, though. For the most part. It was fun until we got Sundial. But, yeah, that's why I tend to skip Sundial a lot. So. Ritual Dagger was alright. Kind of felt whatever. That was funny, though. I'm happy about that. I've had bigger Gen Algs, for sure. But, you know, we didn't get Echo Form offered to us or anything like that. Um, but it scaled up fast and soon, so... <laughs> I took one of these over Compile Driver early on. Professional plays, actually. <sighs> That's pretty much all I got to say about that, yeah. Poor Surge Bias Cog, Sundial. I want to draw four cards. And uh, some good relics. Some good relics overall. Oh, and this. Yeah, that was a completely absurd astrolabe. This didn't get used. This didn't really mean anything. I mean, yeah, there were some good relics. Not a whole lot of really impactful relics, but a couple of them stood out as really good. Like ice cream and sundial and astrolabe and spoon. That's pretty much what stood out for the most part. Toxic Egg didn't really do anything, actually. It did that. That was it. <laughs> but anyway. Good stuff. Till next time.